Today, obviously, we're talking about top coat F11. If you are living under a rock, you're living under something, everybody in this, um, in this world knows that this has been advertised across Facebook, Instagram. Uh, their Instagram ads are pulling close to 1 million views and they are promoting this advertisement like crazy and clearly, yes, you have to pay for that. Um, it's all over, it's, it's the typical like, all these uh, old timers like, oh, I do my Harley, I do my classic cars, I do my boat, I do my RV. From the videos, it does look impressive. Now, hear me out, this bottle from their website is 60 bucks. I bought it on Amazon for 70 because it's Amazon, it's Prime. The link to this will be in the description below. I don't know if this will work or not, so wait till the end to purchase. They try to make it up by throwing in two microfibers and a travel travel size uh, you can put in your glove box for what I don't know but this is supposed to give you a ridiculous shine you go to their website though and the selling point for the video really doesn't make much sense they're like it's kind of like a thing you put on your paint and it'll slowly wear down you reapply and add more um, it's like never wash your car again never clean your car it's like it's supposed to be some miracle like coating so we're gonna try it out today because I just buffed the truck, so and there's no coating on it anymore, so we're gonna use this. And if this doesn't work, obviously it'll come off in a little bit. If you guys haven't seen the ads, I'm sure you're gonna see one after this, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But yes, we're putting top coat F11 to the test. So, literally, like you guys saw, this is what comes in your kit. You get the, 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 the Pequeno small bottle, you get the big bottle, and you get both sprayers, pump and uh, hand sprayer for this bottle. That's what comes in the kit and it's valued at $60. And I know a lot of people see the ads, they see the price, and they're like, I'm not trying that. Me being me, I'm trying to help you all out. So I decided to bite the bullet and we are going to try this today. Now my Hellcat, let me find a towel here, is covered in ceramic detailer from Jack's Wax. Now, look at this. So you drive down the road, obviously you see, I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, there it is. You see that dirt? All right, it's ceramic detailer. Okay, it's gone. Yes, the dirt, literally, you can wipe it off. Look at it, same thing over here. Look at all this, I don't know if you can see the schmuck. Ceramic detailer, you can wipe it off, all the dirt, because that's what it is. I'm guessing this product is meant to do the same thing. However, the value is much more expensive. Let's see if there's any back here. Yes, this is even worse, look at this. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, you'll see it after I wipe once. There it is, look at the line. So yeah, ceramic detail around here. Just look at that. It does wonders, it does an awesome job. After you wash your car, you apply that, and literally, you can wipe dirt off. Um, it does a good job. It's not gonna obviously give you 100% clean, but for what it does, it does, aw oh, it does awesome. So, based on the Instagram ads, it looks like it's a similar product. The ceramic detailer though is, let's see if I can find the bottle actually. It, no, that's total interior, which I do actually need to take that out and clean the inside of my car, so I'll do that too. I gotta find it, I don't know where I put it. I just had it the other day. But literally, same, same concept, they're all the same size. 16 fluid ounces, and this is also 16 fluid ounces. So based on the Instagram, it is so hot out here, oh my goodness. So from what it looks like, it kind of looks like a ceramic detailer, but a lot more expensive. So we're gonna see it, we're gonna test it out. So obviously you can see the shine coming off this car. This is ceramic detailed. The truck has been buffed and polished. We're gonna put that on there, see if it gets any shinier, just like this does. So that'll be the, that will literally be the ultimate test of this. I like, love Ohio, but at the same time, it gets humid really bad uh, after it rains like it just did. Okay, so don't do this at home. Okay, there's no scent to it. The Jack's Wax stuff, there's like a scent to it, but this, there's like nothing. There's like a small hint of something, but there's no scent at all. So, pretty much you're gonna spray this on the surface and buff it in. Yeah, and then when it says, you know, at the end, if there's like a haze, you use the other towel and buff it off. So, let's go to town. All right, then next I'm gonna do this whole bedside here. Um, I'm probably gonna, I mean, I guess I can go right over the vinyl. I guess that'll also be a test. So we'll go over the vinyl on this. 
back down. I'm gonna do this whole bedside now. Okay, so right as as of right now, I've done this whole bedside, and what you could this this is smooth. It's fast. The towel f like glides across the paint. You come over to the side where it's not applied yet, and it's very you could feel there's resistance and friction here. I could tell you that much. So this does. I could tell that this you know their claim of the product was it fills in the you know the surface of the paint and makes it one smooth flat surface. So I can tell you that because this is quite smooth and very fast, no resistance compared to this. It, it, there is a definite, definite resistance on this side of the paint. And stepping back, I mean, it, the, the truck's shiny because it's buffed. I could tell maybe there's a, a slight better shine on this side. Um, we're gonna do the rest of this side of the truck now. We're gonna run through that, but uh, I mean, I, the paint is definitely smoother, I can tell you that. As for a greater shine, can't tell you that yet. Also, green is definitely not the best paint to show shine on because it's it's like, kind of, it just kind of naturally just matte. So I'm gonna run it through, I'm gonna do the rest of the truck real quick, and yeah. Okay, so this side, the whole other side, all the way up top, that, that the whole truck's done. Tailgate, rear bumper, front bumper, grill. Only thing that's not done is the hood, but there's a specific reason I haven't done the hood yet, and that's because I want to show you something. Breaking out the big old ladder again. Did you notice that? No magic, no nothing. I'm gonna keep this one cut for you guys here. All right, just to show you there's no funky magic. Literally, here's the bottle. I'm gonna keep this one cut. Yeah. So obviously that was the easiest way to show you guys this stuff does do its job. It creates that layer on the paint, makes it smooth. So things don't stick. Uh, it's literally the bottle test. You all know that it works with a ceramic detailer too. Stuff just slides off the paint. So I'm gonna go out and do the rest of the hood and then I'm gonna try and do the water test even though it says let 24 hours to cure. Let me show you this with the uh, actual top coat bottle. Even though this is Jack's Wax ceramic detailer, but same concept. Same concept. Over here, doesn't really matter where you put it. It's slick. Put it up here, you get the concept. So, ceramic detailer, top coat F11, both are very slick. Okay, so differences between the F11 and the ceramic uh, detailer over there. Ceramic detailer is it there they both come out with the same properties ceramic detailer did seem like it took a lot more elbow grease to get the streaks out compared to this um both of the paints are very 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 slick um i did drive the hellcat for a couple days after i washed it so it's still slick after that uh there's some dirt and stuff on it so that's kind of hindering that a little bit so i can't really give you a full full show of that but I can tell you that this paint is very shiny. I can tell you it's very slick, as you saw the bottle test right here. Oh my goodness, this paint feels, it, it honestly feels awesome. So I'm gonna run over this real quick, get all the streaks out that I see, if there's any, and then I'm gonna show you guys a water test here on the front bumper and show you the uh, hydrophobic properties as well. Not hateful. 
Not hateful, obviously it's still not cured yet. I'll do it over here. It does run off. Not bad. Ceramic coat is definitely better, I can tell you that. But the hydrophobic properties, it, it is pretty good. I'm not, I can't, I can't knock it. There, it's, it's decent. Ceramic coating is obviously better, but that's not bad. So guys, there you have it. I could tell just by, as I touch my paint here, and there's a smudge. I could tell by the properties, and it's, it's, it's even on my hands right now. There's definitely a hardening characteristic to it. Uh, it says let it cure for 20, 12 to 48 hours, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna drive the Hellcat out tonight, but um, you can like, you can feel it, like it's on my hands, like there's a, like a, there's a hardening characteristic to it. Obviously it'll harden and the water phobic properties will probably increase and be better. But for right now, like I said, it, it the truck is shiny. Uh, longevity of the product. Um, if you haven't been here before, get down to click subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll, we'll you know, we'll, we'll roll with this together. This, the ceramic detailer does give you an awesome hydrophobic property, like so this is like days old game used uh, ceramic detailer. To me, that operates just a bit better than the um, top coat, that's for sure. I'll show you on the hood here. Same concept, water beads up. See what I'm saying? This is just ceramic detailer, guys. So what I can say is it's not a bad product, that's for sure. However, I will also say that I feel like for half the cost and a little more work, I do feel like just a normal like Jax Wax ceramic detailer does kind of work a bit better. Sure, you get two microfibers and a travel bottle, but that costs about nothing. I, I may have to give the win to the ceramic detailer here. I just may have to do that. It may be a bit more work, especially on a truck that big. And b both are one coat, both. I only put one coat on here and I only put one coat on there. So there's no difference between these two. Um, and the ceramic detailer, there's no like curing time. It's literally put it on there and you're good to go uh, after a wash. So same concept with that. So guys, there you have it. There's Top Coat F11. It's all over Instagram. It's all over U YouTube ads. It's all over Facebook ads. Not a bad product. Um, if you wanna try it out, give it a try. Uh, in my opinion, the Jax Wax Ceramic Detailer does do bit of a better job. Um, I'll put both products in the description below. Check it out. Pick pick what you want. Um, but yeah, I've seen so many ads, and the ads are being blown up and getting everywhere on the internet. I needed to uh, bring that to you guys and show you guys the product itself because it is quite expensive, and I know a lot of people wouldn't want to try it out unless they saw a real-world example first. So I want to give you guys that today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Like I said, if you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Thank y'all for thank y'all for 79,000 subscribers. We're almost at 80, and we're almost at 80 means we're getting closer and closer to 100,000 of you guys. Appreciate your support. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.